Hello, greetings. Okay, what's going on here? Help you? No, thank you. Um, what's going on here is uh, connecting with Angel is how the <clears throat> Uh, how how this works, or how we all work with alien angels, is that, for example, such as the archangels, we all seem to connect with a certain one. Of course, there's a lot of them that I have not been mentioned, and in doing so, we are working to their through their magic, you could say in some shape or form. And in becoming more knowledgeable of that, that does lift your vibration into more of the spirit realm where you're more attracting what you want instead of what you don't want and you're understanding more of yourself. Uh, for example, like in this position of channeling, a lot of you know, getting attention, so of course, we're all connected to different, you know, angels for certain reasons. As for a reason who I'm connected to, I connect to Michael, connect to Yeshua, that's not an angel, but close enough. Uh, Prime Creator. Of course, we're all connected to all of them, of course, in different ways. Uh, <clears throat> but the more you become accepting of this, does help as for why or how this connection i know it's like a hard thing to believe that politicians i don't want to go politics i am never connected to, pol to angels at all but a lot of it is they're sorting out for example at least i'm getting this right now a lot of the politicians are sorting out their own issues and a lot of them aren't listening to their angels as you can tell in some regard they're trying to do the right thing, but a lot of their ego seems to be getting away with what is the right thing to do. And a lot of it has to do with the political parties, how the political party invested this much money into them. So they're no way going to, you know, help others. <laughs> so, um, and obviously the two different, I don't go into politics, but whatever. <laughs> Two different parties are just there to divide us, basically. It's just there to divide us. That's all. It's not that hard. It's all the same. So, um, as for, let's see here. We all choose before our birth who we connect to as for the angelic vibrations. As that what, like, your life is what this angel wants to experience, but also. They want to ascend with you. So no matter what you go through, they want to be a part of it. I understand the archangels are part of it, but your your own guardian angels. Like I just got a message. I have a guardian angel by the name of Matthew, which I haven't really connected with before. <clears throat> and female name Lucinda. So that helps. Which I never really connected to until right now. Uh, those are angels that go through. These are the ones that go through, you know, they're like, I mean, they're powerful, but they're not like the archangels, but they're still powerful. But they do, they're, they're closer, they're closest to us. You know, so they feel a lot of stuff we go through, and some of them do step back. Um, they are humanoid, and they all choose us, more than us choosing them. Before we come in, it seems, because they feel like they know better than we do, especially in this environment. They do switch too. They do switch because they can't take it, or they have something else to do, and they're guardian angel comes into assist. There are other angels also, but I'm getting into that. I'm at the end of time. As for the archangel connection, 
Now that is chosen before you incarnate. You make the you make the choice. You also add the archangel vibration to your chart. Also, as for you can say what both of you. I believe there's probably a couple of archangels. Uh, yeah, not just one. What you all want to experience together. So in doing so, now becoming more aware of this should help move out of this third density environment what I'm seeing. Less likely to be captured by, you know, the third density or vibrations of worry, you know, blah, 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 especially, you know, especially go to work and, you know, my mind becomes scrambled eggs, you know, just the way it is. So, <clears throat> And other things not to worry about weight or looks or anything like that because you are what you are. But if you're not connecting to anyone vibrationally, not to worry about it, it's just you will connect who you need to connect with. And many do feel as they go into the higher realms, become more 4D, it's becomes more difficult to connect to anyone. But I want to call it boring or some just prefer to have a partner, but some don't, some can keep themselves busy without having that vibration around. Uh, Connecting more to the, the 4D environment and you even have a relationship with a 4D being that you don't hear in technically, they're not physically here. Spiritually, of course, in the higher, in the dimensions that we are ascending to is definitely a place where we are, uh, well, so yes, yeah, so there's obviously Having relations with these individuals is very strong. And, uh, but of course you can have a relationship with someone here, of course. And, you know, third 3D environment, they just call it a bunch of, bunch of crazy people, but you know, they're not even aware of their own guides or their own anything. So whatever, they're just gonna be where they're gonna be. And that's, and a lot of them that are, they're just like dead on not wanting to connect with any of this. They feel like they're the master of their own future, which is true, but also they cut their guides out also for, <clears throat> they don't feel like they need their guides, as you can tell. <clears throat> they don't feel like they need any of that. They feel like they can run the show without it. But their guides are still working with them. They're just, they're just not making themselves as known. Oh, I just forgot something. Figures. Forgot to put that link on that video. <clears throat> and it's uploaded too. <clears throat> Be right with you. Oh, I forgot to put the. I forgot a lot of things. Maybe that, I don't know. I'll be back. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I forgot to put that spirit pages thing on the other video. New comic of the day. Anyway. <clears throat> uh we're worried, oh yeah, about angels, how you're connecting to them. It does seem like the more you become aware, of course, the more you're aware of your guides also. It does help remove the fear. <clears throat> Especially of where you're going, where what's happening. Takes time to get used to that. As human, we're used to being, you know, under control, as you can tell. And especially, you know, like when I leave work, while I'm at work, and all the all the stuff, just uh, especially when you're tired, it's like all your human 3D stuff just just cakes on top of you. It's like this is why a lot of people, you know, that are connected to this stuff don't have a job at all. It's easier to connect to 40 but more stress you have more is more. harder it is this fully stay tuned to 4d you can it's just juggling it it's just bring the 4d environment in a little bit but yeah. and some in the 4d that are here get so disconnected from 3d they become kind of difficult to talk to in some cases 
So, because you're still living in 3D and it's like still have to focus on the 3D stuff. But anyway, you're kind of flapping in the air while you're like trying to figure out what day it is. <clears throat> Imagine many do show that way. So, um, As for your connecting to your archangel of your choice, as I said, I, don't, I believe the guardian angels are given to you. They are assigned to you. Because um, even on the other side, you don't always know what's best for you, it seems, at least in that regard. They know what they're doing. And it's like uh, security. It's like sometimes you don't need to, you know, you can't connect to everything. Well, I'm gathering that part, but anyway. I imagine you can't have a say on that, but um uh let's see what else we have uh, yeah the more you connect to your archangels the more you connect to the other side the more you understand those in the 3d are not going to connect to your vibration for the most part because they're per, still part of the control system here is they're unlikely, well, because it's not part of the mass appeal yet. The masses are not connecting to it yet. They haven't been told to, as you can tell by the controllers, uh, but you can leave freely. They're just not going to make it easy for you. <coughs> so they don't like it when you leave, of course not. You get visitations at times. But for them, it's like good luck on that. We made it sure that it's very difficult to make a living or anything like that. It's a very lonely world in some regard. Depends on how you look at it. Mm. At least that's the cabal point of view. At least the negative cabal. As for the positive, obviously, well, that's why you connect more with your, your guides, your angels. Your guides, now your guides, all right, well, I'm... Because what, what I'm gathering here, I'm warning with, with everybody else, uh, basically con consciously. Uh, your guides are just, they're there to guide you, they're not there to run your life. So you can allow them to connect to your vibration, of course, to channel through you. But still, they, they have to be in there where they are. Now you can connect to the angels. From what I'm seeing, of course, you can always connect to your guides. I mean, however you want. But connecting to your angels is a little bit different. Meaning, you're, it does seem like it t takes you closer to the other side than what it does with your guides. Not to say you're connecting your guides won't do that. It just seems like the angels is a different, it's a different, like Archangel Michael, Raphael, etc. Your guardian angels are different also. Like, like you're the guides, archangel vibration. You allow that into your energy. It does help you clear out your vibration, see more clearly, and see where you're at. Now, there's also what I'm being told is that it's in your contract. It's not always that easy. Of course, not like very easy, but there are certain lessons you need to learn where they can't interfere. It's like I want to connect to my angels, but I can't even remember who I am right now. I remember what yesterday, what, you know, you know what I mean? Well, that's part of your contract. You're part of a certain path that you need to complete first. And not to say you can't, it's just like, it's like this portion of the third density. I imagine many feel that. It's like, I have to complete this. I want to go, I want to be able to connect to my aliens. I want to be able to channel and all that. But it's like, it does seem like I'm being held back, like I'm capped. Well, it's technically you're, you're part of the third density environment you have to still learn. Not to say that's a bad thing. I don't think, I don't think it is. Because remember, one thing of looking at this is like, it's like, <clears throat> well, it's, this is why we come here. On the other side, you have no problems. Everything's perfect. Everybody looks like a supermodel. Everybody has abs. Everybody's just, you know, everybody's banging away, you know. It's just a big orgy over there. And then you come here, it's the exact opposite. Nobody has any abs. Everyone's overweight, ugly, whatever. However you want to define ugly, it's up to you. 
because <clears throat> I don't you know there's a really a version of it really it's just on your point of view so we come here to be you know disfigured basically you know for our sexual functions to not work and on and on and on you know we come here to be messed up you know and the more the more messed up the better when you want to think about it it's just that you want to experience that you want to be messed up like you know, because that's where most of the learning comes from. That if you have just like everything going for you, you might. I mean, it's it's almost as if it's like not to say why you. I mean, it's still a big deal coming here. It's just you know, yeah, you're gonna have four or five lifetimes after this. But you come here and get the crap beat out of you. You probably won't have that many lifetimes here. You don't need them. Why would you want them? <laughs> it's like. You know, you know what I mean? If you have an extra head coming out of cyber, anyway. Okay, that was way off. But you know what I mean? It's like, you know, you get all disformed or whatever. Most likely, you're not going to be coming back here. So, but some, but if you don't learn your lessons, you'd be coming back. So is that too. It all depends. It all depends on what you want, basically. I don't think there's any, like, set contract. For some cases, some people have already wrote an urge contract to come back. Now, if you're, you know, a billionaire... You know, all you do is ski all the time. Most likely you're going to be coming back. Maybe not, but it's a possibility. It depends on what, you know, you know what I mean? So, um, it's like, a, a, for another example, for a 3D version, a lot of people that are rich are wondering how it would be to be poor. It's like, I'd rather be poor, but it's like, wait, anyway, whatever. You know, so, whatever. So, you know, it's like, we're here to get beat up, so... You know, if you just, if you clear all that, it's like, you know, it defeats the whole purpose of the game. The idea of the game is to, like this, be unaware, don't have any knowledge whatsoever, can't remember yesterday, you're going to send to 4D and you know, it's like, you know, like your power, it's like, I want to be in 4D, but I'm in 3D. Well, you're in 3D for a reason. Why are you there? You know, you're aware of the angels, you're aware of your guides, and you can't connect to them. Well, apparently there's something here you need to figure out. I don't know what it is. I can't, well, you know, it's like there's no set reason for it. You know what I mean? It's like one defining moment. It's different for everybody, obviously. Remember, I'm very tired, so I don't connect to so much. But anyway, I imagine that makes sense. <clears throat> There's something there that you need to clear. Now, some say, you know, for example, you want to channel, do what I'm doing, but yet remember you have your own talents like, you know, languages and stuff. That's very powerful. And, you know, possibly you just came here just, you know, just for the language point of view, you know, whatever it is, you know, <clears throat> or tarot or whatever it is, or, um, Oh, what is it? Uh, um, I forgot what it was called. I don't remember. Anyway, it's another uh, inner, uh, the stones and the inner, um, I don't remember. Anyway, doesn't matter. You know, uh, well, that's another thing, such as, uh, I don't have no idea what this is. <laughs> anyway, it's cool. I forgot what it was. But um, another thing is stone. Some people go into their, you know, they have a whole, diff you know, diff uh, definitions of all this stuff. I think the only one I know is quartz, <clears throat> gemstones, whatever this is. I already forgot. So anyway. <laughs> Anyway, um, and uh, citrine, 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 citrine. It's also good for money, citrine. Some people put uh, citrine in their cash registers. Yeah, if you want to bring in money, citrine is good for that. Um, as for where to put it, I don't know where to put it. <laughs> so anyway, people put, you know, stones is another way of up. Uh, so like, you know, I'm not very psychic. I'm not connecting. Well, stones, maybe I go into stone collecting. 
It don't cost that much. You get them for a couple bucks. I know where to go. You don't need the big, biggest and the best. And that will probably help your vibration also. Some do carry them around. I do have a bag here I do not do not carry around. I'm already going crazy as it is. I don't even carry around anything. It's just too much. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can have a bag. You put it in your pocket. I don't know. <laughs> You can, uh, I don't know what any of this stuff is. There's another. That's normal. Okay. You can carry on stones. A lot of my mentor, or whatever you want to call him, that did a lot of, he was very, I think a lot of this stuff carrying, you know, you need to carry stones around is very superstitious. I don't think you need to do it, but some do because maybe, well, for his case, a mentor is like 60-something years old, arrogant um, in some ways. He's a hot shot, and, uh, you know, he has all the, you know, for protection. I don't carry any of that stuff around. So it's all, you know, I mean, you can walk around with stuff, but, you know, with stones in your pocket, if it feels good. I mean, if it just feels great, good. Yeah, I recommend it, but you don't need to carry this stuff around. Unless you want to. Yeah, because it's not, you know, you can have all the stones around. I mean, I remember I carried stuff around, and I wasn't protected by it. I got attacked. So, you know, we don't have that in your environment to be attacked. You just say, I'm not going to be attacked. I'm not going to worry about this stuff. I see negative stuff, so that's great. And I don't need you in my environment. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't need to experience this. And it goes away. So, it's on how you want to deal with it. Of course, as many people here that are exploring their dark side, as you can tell, <clears throat> there's a lot of that, as you can tell, and um, and some of them are in the spiritual community, of course, and they do black magic and stuff like that, which is fine. I don't do any of that stuff. I'm not interested. Uh, I'm too busy making cow cartoons. I don't have time for all that. <clears throat> and Zeta uh, alien cartoons. That's coming up. Um, I. I don't know if I went to that. I can't remember yesterday. I can't remember five minutes ago. Um, anyway, the cartoon stuff we're going to. But as for as for the angelic connections, though, it's like your guides are oh, here. What do we got? Yeah, the guides are just here to guide you. You're not here to run your life. You are here to run your own life. That's why connecting to the angels is a lot easier to connect to them at times. Connecting to the angels, because that's what they're there for. The angels are there for you to connect to. Not to say your guides aren't there to connect to. They are, but they're not here to, you know, like, the, like the angels can totally like channel through you. The guides can do that also, but the angels are a little bit different. They can unlock the other side. The angels can unlock the other side. Because that's what they're there for. And that's the archangels, Archangel Michael, etc. <clears throat> and it can be an archangel, you know, Bob or, you know, Randy or whatever. That's all good. As long as you feel comfortable with that, that's fine. Because there's a lot of them that have been, you know, you know, discounted by the Bible that we all cherish and love. So anyway, not to say all of that's wrong, but anyway, it just lets a, much of it out. Um... But the, uh, connecting to your angels will take you to the fourth density, but also let you realize why you were in third density and why you chose this. But we're all at <clears throat> in one shape or form at battle to improve ourselves, but also to improve others. We're all here to ascend together. In ascending together, we all have to deal with each other's energies. We are here, we come here masked, but we're here to unmask ourselves, to show our true selves. But it does not mean you have to go around telling everybody your spiritual beliefs, because many are not ready for it, and it's best to keep you in a positive vibration, a negative one. If you go around telling everybody what you're, what's on your mind, many will have a re negative reaction because of their vibration. So it's best that you protect yourself and others. But you must do what you must do, of course. This is all, Michael. But realize 
you know, how will they react? And it's one thing of them not accepting what you connect with. It's just, it all depends on who you're connecting with to tell this to some will just get in your face. Like an employer, you know, family members, some might not jive with it and they can be your worst nightmare. That's why some of these things need to be kept quiet for right now. Um, it's like a secret identity, but it's for your benefit and others. It's not just to say that you're scared or not. It's just that others are scared. <clears throat> Does that make sense? But to be patient with your powers, be patient with the fourth density vibrations also. Just to follow your path, be who you need to be, be who you want to be. If you don't like who you are, put that vibration out to connect to who you want to be. What I want the old, grab on to the new. And many are going through a renewal process as of right now, changing their environment. Even if they're not changed where they're living, they are changed, moving things around. As they always do in certain circumstances, but right now many are changing the way they are thinking. As this hoax world is a beautiful world, but also mundane, vicious, mundane, a world that needs your attention. Many of you came here to help it ascend, but also you came to receive its gifts also. It's, it's tests, it's lessons. To you, as you said, come here to be ugly, but also to realize that you are all beautiful. That the, that mentality needs to end of ugly, or who is calling yourself that at least. As many do come to here and instantly put themselves down, but it's due to the culture. It's due to Hollywood and many other things. Hollywood is there to put a spell on you. The music also, the music of the sirens is there to seduce you. But not always for the bad. For the Hollywood is about image and many do connect to the image as for what they should look like and that's what's causing a lot of problems here body images food will be handled in due time meaning the chemicals it will a lot of it has to do right now is image people are are really hating on themselves right now. Even the best looking people, at least as what we're told, at least in our culture, are really beating themselves down for no reason. Yeah, more people feel like they're beautiful will help, right? will, will help. And much more to that, but it does a big portion of it, of, uh, of change. Many will start to feel they're unlocking their inner self. Meaning, because the looks is very important because you have to look at yourself. And if you feel more comfortable with yourself, you become more confident in yourself. Accept who you are. See yourself as beautiful will help. Because if you're always putting yourself down, how are you, to, how are you, how are you going to ascend? It's a big part. It, it might seem like it's no big deal, but it actually is. Because you're saying to yourself, you're a beautiful being. No matter how you look, you know, fat or whatever, it doesn't matter. This is just a, a skin. This isn't who you really are. This is just, a, you know, but accept what you've chosen and to love it, accept it. So I'll make you stronger. 
and uh, self-help, that's a big part because also more people feel that way because they're not putting each other down. A lot of people are putting each other down, putting themselves down, but you can tell. This is all coming from Michael. This will change things drastically on a global scale. So many are taught to put themselves down in the early stages of their life, as you can tell. Some of it's done with family, some of it's just done in the culture. I don't look like that, so I must be ugly. So it's a big, it, it plays a big part. Magazines, images, play, that's part of the cabal. They've been doing this for thousands of years, so. Okay. All right. He's going to go give me a break. Okay. All right. That is it for right now. And there's always more, of course, but right now, that was. All right. Blessings all. And uh, have a great weekend.